Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how I improved my step two score by 34 points in one and a half weeks. And no, I'm not lying. I got a 218 on my UWorld self-assessment two, and then I got a 252 on my actual test a week and a half later. Now, before we dive into this, if you guys are looking for a bunch of content on medical education, you can go subscribe to me, and you can go visit thedoctorjourney.com. We have a lot of free resources out there, and if you're looking for tutoring, we also also offer some tutoring. Stay tuned for some cool updates on the website. Anyways, let's get back to it. So how did I do this? Well, personally, let me tell you guys a secret that maybe resonates with a few of you guys out there. I do terrible on UWorld exams and I'm never good with them. I always, always do really bad on them. Um, it's been since step one and now step two, I've never done good on them. Um, I know most people are like, oh, UWorld is so accurate, especially UWorld two for both step one and step two. They're like, it's one of the most accurate exams out there. And in my opinion, it's not. And I know it's only for me and the few people that are like me. I am a type of guy that really adapts to styles of tests and styles of technique. And I kind of figure out patterns and ways of how things are asked and where it's leading me. And UWorld was just not asking me the patterns that I was practicing for, which is good and bad. I mean, it's good that I was prepared for the NBME exams and it's bad in a sense, it can demotivate you. So on Wednesday, a week and a half before my test, um, I took UWorld 2 and I got 218. Now I expected myself to do pretty poorly, but I didn't expect myself to do that poorly. It was pretty demotivating, but here's how I got back. Up for me. I literally went through every single question, corrected it down. There was a lot of content I absolutely didn't know. At this point, I felt like it wasn't even a style problem, it was a content problem. But still, I kept myself motivated. Like I was like, you know what? This is a UWorld test. I'm not gonna think about it. I'm not that dumb. I know I've been doing decently well on my actual MBME exams, so let's not fret. But the amount of content I didn't know from that exam was insane. And I took down all those notes and I looked up stuff, watched videos on topics it took many hours to review the whole exam but after reviewing the whole exam i felt like whoa i learned a big chunk of knowledge i just didn't know at all and so i took that all in absorbed it all and then subsequent days um, i was reviewing it in my notes and then on top of that i had another couple practice tests i took i took nbme 14 and i took free 120 um, in that week and a half time period after you want to self-assessment and on both of those i did pretty decently well but again i corrected every single thing of them and then on top of that i watched divine interventions the free 120 review that he just released this year so it's the updated version for the new free 120 super helpful getting his explanations because the free 120 doesn't give you explanations itself so free 120 doesn't give you explanations but divine intervention really gets down to nitty-gritty now besides that i watched a lot of divine intervention in general um, he has a really good stats video it's an hour long with the powerpoint must watch if you're weak on stats on top of that i went through nbme 13 and 14 multiple times over after i had already corrected them and went through every single question again. I think I went over MBME 13 three times total, MBME 14 two times total. On top of that, I went through all my notes, all my UWorld corrections, incorrects, corrects, all my test corrections, at least twice in that week and a half span. And then on top of that, I was doing my Anki, my daily Anki 400 to 500 cards of the Janki deck. And I was just going after every week topic that I knew I had. Everything week, I would look it up and learn it. On top of that, I was taking CMS MBME forms in the morning so i stopped doing all u world u world self-assessment 2 was my last u world item that i ever did after that it was everything nbme and i was making sure that i learned the exact style nbme and learned how they ask questions how they approach questions and how it leads me to the answers so i did a bunch of cms forms bunch of divine intervention bunch of junky yonky and then just hammered in my weak points on top of that i was doing um questions from Amboss, and it was specifically the 200 questions that show up on every step to exam. Very good to learn your content that's gonna be crucial for your test. And again, went through all those questions, learned the weak points, really dived into the weak points, and it was great. All in all, all of this accumulation, plus some mental resting by working out, going to the gym, going on that 10, 15 minute drive to the gym and 10, 15 back, mentally relaxing, going on walks, and just enjoying my time of being alive was really helpful. It kept 
be in tune with studying, did the studying, enjoyed my mental relaxation, ate well, watched a little bit of TV, and then got back to studying, slept about seven hours every day. I found that seven hours is exactly the precise time that gets me perfectly energized. Not more, not less. Seven hours is perfect for me. Top of that, eating healthy every single meal. Very similar structured meals for almost every single day with the workouts. Everything was structured to perfection and I've been tailoring this for months and this last week and a half was very crucial. And I believe that's what led to me getting the 34 point increase in my U-World self-assessment two to my actual day in just one and a half week. Now, I know this sounds like clickbait and in a way it is. I do bad on U-World generally. I knew I was gonna do bad, but just how bad I did was still surprising to me. But again, if you do bad on a test and you've been doing good on other tests it doesn't mean it's the end of the world it just means you need to hunker down on the content that you did bad on learn it really well keep reviewing it multiple times over and then review every single play you can do like do as many things as you can think of to study while keeping yourself mentally rested and fresh you got to be ready for this this is war you got to be prepared you got to be mentally relaxed but you got to do everything in a playbook to win so that's exactly what i did and it worked and and I'm sure it can work for you as well. Again, if you need any help or any advice, leave a comment, email me, or go visit the doctorjourney.com. You can get tutoring from us. We have a lot of free resources, and you can reach out to us, and we're happy to help you guys. In the meantime, stay happy and stay healthy, everyone. Take care.